Microsoft is leveraging its cloud strengths from its Azure business to develop next generation services for the edge, powered by AI capabilities. As cloud architect Sergio Gonzalez explains. Uh, I think for us the, the, the edge is a natural extension of the cloud. We really see that some uh, next generation use cases are going to require edge capabilities, mainly driven by quality of service, uh, responsiveness and also due to regulations. So we are equipping all uh, our services, uh, most of our services to run in, into the edge when possible in order to, to build those end-to-end -end, uh, use cases. So I think AI analytics are going to be uh, a key differentiator in, in, in bringing massive scale automation, uh, especially when you look at uh, connected, uh, connected scenarios like connected industry, connected farms and, and so on. You really need automation capabilities in order to manage, a, for example, a huge fleet of devices or equipment. So I think uh, the, the capability of bringing AI and machine learning from the cloud to the edge and be, being able to infer at the edge is going to be a key differentiator for those use cases to happen. Cloud native is key. So the more uh, we make networks cloud native, uh, the easier it's going to be to interwork in between a hyperscale cloud and, and telco NFB de deployments. So, so the best practice would be following client na native pa uh, patterns. Uh, and the more we go there, the, the better we, the easier it's going to be to interoperate. We have a certain offering that go beyond the cloud uh, towards the, the customer edge. We could talk about Azure Stack, Azure Data Box Edge, Azure IoT Edge. Those workloads, they are able to run uh, on the customer network and premises and, and help accelerate uh, new generation use cases. I think the telco operators, when they embrace NFB and cloud, they kind of become more and more software companies. So uh, it's uh, very challenging to exploit all the benefits of, telco, of NFB and cloud if you, if you don't have workloads that benefit from scale, from elasticity, from predictability. So you would be limited if you work with traditional uh, silo apps in a cloud environment, you don't get the best out of it. So the more cloud native you go, the more you benefit from uh, all the capability driven by cloud. It is key to transform the way uh, we work in order to benefit. So it's also a cultural change. I mean, we have to uh, embed operation developers and work all together. Also, uh, data, mi data mindset, analytics mindset that, that, uh, from the very beginning. So you don't uh, automate afterward. You really have to start thinking on automation on data from the very beginning. So at the end of the day, when you look at disrupting industry, you really have to know that industry. So you really have to work with the right partners. If you want to do connected farms, you really know have to know about farming and we know about software, we know about networks, we, we really need a, another layer of industrial expertise. So partnership is a must for everyone to succeed in the next generation use cases. Open source has been, uh, has been key. I mean, if you look at next generation use cases, they heavily rely on Kubernetes, Docker and open source architecture. So, so open source has been a, a key space where all those partnerships happen. So, so I really think uh, open source is going to be key in the, in the next generation use cases. So well, here it's also key to partner with, uh, with open source players, with, uh, with companies that have an open source history uh, that are able to help and, and, and build those uh, long-term uh, practices. So again, and again, so again, partnerships are key in order to succeed. Partnering with the right uh, open source players uh, that are able to bring that cultural knowledge, that transformation capabilities to, to the industry.